Hey everyone, Mike from Casual Experts here. So in honor of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 coming out this weekend, me and Luke and some of my friends figured it'd be a good time to go through all of the MCU movies and kind of rank them, and we figured the easiest way to do that would be with a tier list. So we all got together and we made tier lists and we compared them and talked about which movies we liked and disliked all that stuff. We had a lot of stuff we agreed on and plenty of stuff we disagreed on. So I feel like we had a pretty decent diversity of opinion, but this is a bit of a longer video. So I will have chapters down below if you just want to skip to our tier list or our, our discussion, all that stuff. So yeah, we had a lot of fun doing this and we hope you enjoy watching it. Hello everyone and welcome to Casual Experts. We are your casual experts, Mike and Luke. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And today uh, I've got some friends joining the video here. So I got in no particular order, it just kind of happened that way. So James, Caleb, and Tanner, we're all going to be doing a MCU tier list. Pretty hip thing to do. Definitely not several years late to this whole thing. Mm -hmm. And so we're all just going to do our own tier lists. Uh, and then we're going to compare them. Which ones we hate and which ones we love and which ones are just okay. So... Yeah, without further ado, let's do that. Oh, he's gone. Yeah, he left. What a dipshit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there there you are. All right, Caleb. Oh, can you hear me okay? N yeah, but it fucking sucks. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so what I meant was, like, don't join with your computer until you're actually going to present. So, like, go back to your phone. Oh, shit. <laughs> Don't let him back anymore, please. Yeah, no, no, I won't. I won't. Yeah, he, he's out of the video. I haven't seen most of these in several years. So. I know, I'm mm. just going off of memory. Well, I think like, the last man. time we, the last time I saw most of these was when Infinity War came out. Yeah. We like marathoned them, and it was awful because there's just too many movies to tackle in one weekend. Was that a cat? <laughs> yeah. Is that is that is oh, that your shit. cat? Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> yeah. That's my kitty cat. She's trying to get in here. We should tell her to go to hell. No they don't way. make much noise if they're in the river. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Unless they, they, they can swim, I guess. They don't like water. Did you see that video of like the scuba diving cat? No. No. It's They got like a little suit and a tank and everything. It's crazy. Oh, hey, I do see that. Huh. Yeah, they have like a little fishbowl helmet and stuff. How interesting. <laughs> One eternity later. So I guess starting with Luke, we'll all just go through our lists. So I just want to say like, I, my opinion is not very popular, especially when it comes to the MCU. So mm -hmm. uh, just a bit of a warning. Okay. On the epic tier list is the original Avengers. And this is not in any particular order. Yeah, uh, no. Guardians of the Galaxy, Iron Man 3, Winter Soldier, Volume, uh, Guardians Volume 2, Infinity War, Shang-Chi, and Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Okay. On the next tier is the original Iron Man, original Hulk, Ultron, original Doctor Strange, and Thor Ragnarok. And on the is okay tier is Iron Man 2, Thor, Civil War, Black Panther, Captain Marvel, Endgame, and Black Panther Wakanda Forever. On the Eh, tier is uh, Thor the Dark World and all the Spider-Man movies. Bad tier is uh, Captain America the First Avenger and then Ant-Man and the Wasp and then regular Ant-Man. I haven't seen the third one. And on the garbage stank tier is Black Widow, Eternals, and Thor Love and Thunder. Well, that's an awful list. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, like, if for some of those I did definitely agree. Some I don't, but, you know, I like the... Mm -hmm. I like that it's not... a basic bitch list yes <laughs> you know? so i'm i'm definitely a russo brothers simp when it comes to these movies mm. so uh i just really like their style and everything so we got iron man captain america the winter soldier S captain america civil war avengers infinity war avengers endgame shang chi and spider-man no way home those are like you know the best of the best in my opinion very nice it was i i i almost put hulk and epic um it yeah. is for me it was close my, to yeah it, it's one of my favorites but i ended up not but anyway so very nice incredible hulk the original thor uh, the, the first captain america avengers age of ultron ant-man doctor strange guardians 2 is like almost in between uh, okay and nice because like the main story is good but the comedy was significantly worse mm -hmm. i think 
Um, then there's a Spider-Man Homecoming, Black Panther, Spider-Man Far From Home, um, Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness, Eternals, and Guardians of the Galaxy, the first one. Um, is okay. Is the Avengers, Iron Man 3, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, uh, Ant-Man 3, and Iron Man 2. And then, eh, is Black Widow and Ant-Man and the Wasp. And then Bad Time was... Thor the Dark World and Thor the Ragnarok, and then Garbage Dank is Love and Thunder and Captain Marvel. Yeah. <laughs> Can you yeah, talk I about can. why you have Eternals and Very Nice? I yeah. need an explanation. Well, we'll get to it. We'll like we'll get to it. Yeah, we'll so. get to it. We'll get there. Now, now I now I guess James. Me to preface this, um, I have not seen the. Uh, Ant Man, Ant-Man you movie. just threw it but up I there just in put garbage. It at the bottom because who cares? But <laughs> okay. top tier for me and Epic would be Iron Man, the first one, Captain America: Winter Soldier, the uh, final two Avengers movies. I kind of mm-hmm. package them as uh, singular. Mm-hmm. Sure. Okay. Okay. They, okay. they okay. mirror each other quite well. Yeah. And then <clears throat> the Incredible Hulk and the last Spider-Man movie. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah. In a very nice, I have um, Captain America 1, Thor 1, Avengers Age of Ultron, Shang-Chi, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1, Captain uh, Captain America Civil War, Doctor Strange, um, Ant-Man, and the uh, first Spider-Man. Okay. In the OK tier ranking, I have the original Avengers, Eternals, mm-hmm. Black Panther, uh, Doctor Strange 2, and the second Spider-Man. In the eh tier, I have Black Widow, Captain Marvel, mm-hmm. Wakanda Forever, Iron Man 2, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, and Ant-Man and the Wasp. In the bad time tier, I have Thor the Dark World, Thor Ragnarok, and Iron Man 3. Mm-hmm. And then Garbage Stank would be Thor 4, of course. Mm-hmm. And then as the honorary uh, edition, uh, Ant-Man 3. <laughs> the one you haven't even seen. Yeah, I haven't seen right. but um, yeah, it's just interesting. For Caleb's, we're going to have to just Sorry. see full screen because sure. he's too good for webcams. <laughs> oh, he the tree. quality. So Caleb. in my epic tier, I have Iron Man 1, Avengers Infinity War, um, mm-hmm. Endgame, and Spider-Man No Way Home. Mm-hmm. In my very nice tier, I have Guardians of the Galaxy 1, Avengers Age of Ultron, The Incredible Hulk, Captain America, The Winter Soldier, mm. Civil War, Doctor Strange 1, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, Black Panther, and uh, Spider-Man Homecoming. In my is okay tier, I have Captain America, The Winter Soldier, Ant-Man. Oh, shit. I already said Captain America, The Winter Soldier. Way to go. Mm. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Did, did you? I thought you said. Yeah, no, he, he no. said he said Winter Soldier. I, I was paying attention. Oh, yeah. so you switch? You did? Did you sw- switch around the first Avenger and w- Winter Soldier? No, I the... just um, I just said it two times. Oh, okay. okay, so you actually think that's the first all. Avenger is better than the Winter Soldier? Yeah. Mm. Okay, yeah. that's it. That's interesting. Well, we'll talk about that later about how you're wrong. <laughs> but yeah, continue. <laughs> I'll just restart from a uh, very nice tier, I okay. guess. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, Jesus. All right, just go. Am I is okay? I have Captain America, the Winter Soldier, Ant Man, the First Avengers, Shang Chi, Spider Man, Far From Home, The Eternals, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, and Ant Man Three. In my end, I have Iron Man Three, Thor One, Ant Man and the Wasp, Doctor Strange, Multiverse of Madness. In my bad tier, I have Iron Man Two, Thor Ragnarok, and Captain Marvel. In my garbage tank, I have <laughs> Thor 2, Black Widow, and Thor Love and Thunder. Now, last but not least, Tanner. All right. So in my epic tier, um, I'm kind of similar to James in that uh, mm-hmm. the last two Avengers are there as well. Yeah. Um, then I've got uh, Spider-Man No Way Home, Shang-Chi, and uh, Civil War. In my very nice tier, we've got Ant-Man 3, Spider-Man Homecoming, Captain America The Winter Soldier, Black Panther, Age of Ultron, and Black Widow, which is a hot mm. take, I can tell. Yeah. Uh, is okay. More like a <laughs> shitty take. <laughs> In my is okay tier, we've got Thor Ragnarok, Captain America the First Avenger, Iron Man 1, Doctor Strange 1, uh, Spider-Man 2, uh, the First Avengers, 
The Incredible Hulk, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1. In my eh tier, we've got Iron Man 3, Ant-Man and the Wasp, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, Ant-Man 1, Iron Man 2, uh, and Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. Mm -hmm. In my bad time tier, we've got Eternals, um, the newest Doctor Strange movie, Multiverse of Madness, Captain Marvel, Thor 1, and then in Garbage Stank, uh, we've got Thor the Dark World and <laughs> Thor 4. Yeah, oh. yeah. I think I, I think that was a consistent. I think yeah, that's an overwhelming all five of us. Four. Yeah, all five, five of us group. hated Thor 4. Yeah, I'm so glad was... I didn't go see it in the theater. No, yeah, it was not <laughs> worth it. Um, all right, so if you want to pull your yours up again, Luke, we can kind of like just yeah. All right, so care to explain yourself? What the hell is it? No, I'm kidding. No, it's not. It's not that weird. Um, okay, okay, okay. I think I think pretty much all of us had. Wait, where's the original Avengers? The oh, an epic. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I think the re rest of us had the original Avengers in. Okay, yeah. Um, I don't know. For me, the first Avengers hasn't aged super well. Like it okay. was like amazing when it came out. Yeah. But since then, like, I think most of the costumes are kind of Mid. Cr crappy, like, even from their solo films. Mm. Um, I think, like, I don't know. Like, I think it, like, it worked super well at the time. But, like, now that there's been so much more, I for me, it just doesn't hold up that well. No, I was just going to say, I really enjoyed it. I think that it's just... It's just a fun movie, and the, the chemistry mm -hmm. they could, like they, they get it really well. And I feel like that's it, true. It kind of yeah. set the tone for like the rest of the MCU in a way. Because mm. like if you sure. look at it, yeah. the, the Phase One wasn't super like silly like the movies are now. But I feel like yeah, with, that's true. With, uh, the Avengers it kind of set that mark. Yeah. yeah, I can. I feel like I can definitely respect your opinion on that. I would say yeah. for me, the uh, it, I agree that it set the tone. But for me, it setting the tone brings it to is okay because for me, that's mm. really all it did. You know, sure. like mm -hmm. it set up um, almost like a schematic for the next Avengers movies, you know, like mm -hmm. to have that symmetry there. But it wasn't yeah. executed as well as the other ones, in my opinion, of course. I see. I see. So, well, yeah. And for me, I think just overall, like the visual, uh, like the aesthetic just kind of mm -hmm. brings it down a lot. Like the lighting in most of the scenes is pretty eh. like especially yeah. like the helicarrier scenes. It's like really washed out. Mm -hmm. um and yeah i noticed yeah, that too stuff like that you know just kind of yeah well, i think i don't get this though iron man 3 and guys <laughs> 2 mm -hmm. what is that about <laughs> yeah so so i feel like a, a lot of people <clears throat> the reason why they don't i'm speaking generally the reason why they don't like iron man 3 is because it doesn't but kind of what it does with the universe and how like it kind of fits in with the other movies but for me, I think looking at it as a movie, like on its own, apart from all the other mm -hmm. ones, I feel like it's just a really, really cool story about like it's... PTSD and like he's like all alone and all he has is like this, this this faulty suit of armor, so he kind of has to just like use his own resources and stuff. And I think that's really cool. I never thought it was a bad movie per se. It's just kind of a shitty Iron Man movie. Sure. And like you know, like they definitely were trying to do something completely different, and I yeah. feel like it just didn't really hit. Like especially the whole like Mandarin thing. Mm, that was yeah. like what what's the point of bringing in the mandarin if you're going to change that and also it's like they had you know he had all those iron man suits so at the very end there's like all those iron man suits but then like the rest of the movie like, was, he isn't yeah in it and so it's like yeah it's uh, it's yeah it's definitely that's, like i feel like that's what ruined it for the enemy is when he blew up all the suits at the end that mm -hmm. too like it felt like they were trying to make some weird standalone movie that wasn't really an iron man movie per se and yeah it didn't it really fit with the rest of the mcu either because then in yeah. the next movie he's like well i built more suits you know, mm. I feel like maybe they gave Shane Black a lot of creative freedom. And then once yeah. he was done, they're like, never mind. I just really like James Gunn. So I just put both the Guardians movies up there on Epic. I feel like okay, his, his gotcha, style gotcha. and it's just the vibe is really cool. And I like all the characters. I feel like not a lot of people like Multiverse of Madness. And again, it goes back to what I was talking about earlier, how like uh, people don't like like how it fits in with the rest of the MCU. And I kind of understand why what you're coming from. But again, like just the as on, on its own as a movie like individual without the context of the rest of the mcu i just really like what uh sam raimi did it's just a really weird almost like a horror superhero thing and i, I just yeah. really like the vibes yeah the issue i have with that is i wish they had done more of that like i i hate that mm. they like tr tried to like pr present it as some sort of crazy multiverse movie and then it really wasn't yeah you know i wish they they had just done like a straight up doctor strange sequel or mm -hmm. done a crazy multiverse thing but putting them together just kind of took away from both aspects i think mm -hmm. uh and then probably the biggest one here would be Endgame. um oh, okay yeah 
I feel yeah. like that's not so much of a hot take anymore. Yeah, I think just, at the time, yeah. I don't know. It feels like it's just kind of like pointing out everything that you like from all the other movies and it's not really doing its own thing. Like, I guess that's my big my big thing here is like, how is it as a movie on its own? And mm -hmm. like, I'm not really interested. I mean, I do like how it connects because mm -hmm. that's the whole point of the MCU. But I, sure. I, I mean, like, I'd rather have a good movie than have one with a bunch of connections, you know? Yeah. And for me, it's like, I feel like Endgame relies too much on the connections. It's not a horrible movie. It has some mm -hmm. moments, but I feel like, yeah. It maybe well, yeah, it is that. definitely like just like, you know, kind of the cap to what the yeah, MCU and, was. Yeah. But at the same time, I think the strength it has that Infinity War doesn't have is it focuses on less characters. Yeah, so that's it, true. So it doesn't just have like a little bit, like three minutes for each character. It's, it it mm -hmm. like focuses on the core ones and yeah. kind of gives for most of them it gives them like a pretty good ending or a pretty good fulfillment of their arcs, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and then on eh, the big one here would be far from home. Mm -hmm. It feels oh. like, like end game, but like more egregious. <laughs> with like, it's just, it's, I don't know. I just like, this guy hates Spider-Man. Spider like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it just feels like, they did whatever they could to get to that end point, and like they didn't really care how they got there. It's not a horrible movie, but you know, you're goddamn right. It's not a horrible movie. <laughs> I'm gonna throw mine up, and you can take a steaming shit on it. So let me. <laughs> so I don't think I have any like crazy hot takes besides maybe the Eternals one. I put a lot of them in very nice, yeah. but I think like half of them are sort of on the edge. Like they're not quite bad enough to be just okay but not quite good enough to be at the top of very nice you know so like with eternals like after re-watching it a couple of times i probably put it like kind of on the edge kind of on the edge of this um because right i can see the criticisms but i don't think they're as bad as you know people say and i think it has a lot of redeeming qualities for me if i were being truly objective i put i, I would put it here i remember well, I walking out of that movie lover. being angry so that's why i put it in garbage tank <laughs> <laughs> so i've got a question for you though so yeah i feel like most of you if i remember correctly have wakanda forever higher than i do i have it in eh okay uh, i have it I pretty well i need to see what, okay. where, where i got it Oh, I put it in. It's okay. I'm. I, I think. I think it should be an end. Then. Okay. Yeah. I see. Yeah. I. I was. I felt angry when mm -hmm. I finished okay. watching that. I just movie. felt kind of bored. <laughs> yeah, that. I think that's exactly long. why. Yeah, I, it, it is definitely two hours and like forty-five minutes. They should have cut it down long. to like two hours and ten minutes. Two hours and yeah, maybe twenty I, minutes. There's mm -hmm. a lot of unneeded stuff in that. Yeah, yeah. I agree. I think but, if if they cut out like the um, the whole iron heart bullshit yeah like yeah. her whole storyline and maybe expanded a little more with like namor like because he was interesting but they didn't do enough with him i felt like it, it would have been a way better movie because i felt like all the emotional beats were pretty good like with you know paying tribute to chadwick slash t'challa yeah all that stuff and the mom and the sister grieving all that stuff was good they <laughs> added a lot of like mcu stuff that has yeah. been that's very generic and done before that made the movie suffer a lot i think i still think it was like still way better quality in a lot of ways than your average mcu movie acting and production wise besides ironheart and her <laughs> suit i hate it oh, oh my god, god. Suit was so, so bad. bad it was so bad i think everybody just hates that suit so <laughs> it's much so awful. i swear it looked like it came off of cartoon network it, yeah. well, it, 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 it is like the power rangers yeah yes. it looks like it's made out of plastic it's like and then when a, you read it, it was like, like a toy we, we tried to shape it like a heart and you're like what the hell is why that? why, why? <laughs> just put a little put heart, heart on the on the side of the and and, and her first suit like i know it's supposed to look stupid but it looks stupid like it's supposed to it's look like she, movie. <laughs> yeah it's pretty so bad awful. i felt like seeing the atlanteans you know and like Mm -hmm. more i feel like it could have been done with more like excitement factor i feel like the, i just feel yeah. like the whole city like yeah was underwhelming. Oh, yes the Damn. city like, the I, city was really boring like yeah, i know this it. it's it's so they're bad. trying to go like yeah, you're gonna tell me they've the been sea. down there for that long and they haven't had more development like but, I, I expected they, it to be like and they haven't cleaned the seaweed yeah, off their buildings like, how about you <laughs> clean up your barnacles off your foot? like <laughs> you're talking about it's like the gun gun city and Star Wars looks like <laughs> ten times better. And those yeah, hundreds, come on, one hundred percent. So is it me next? Yes, sir. I mean, I feel like for the most part, James, like me, you, and Caleb are very similar. 
I'm just a quality movie critic. What can I say? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, yeah, I feel like your epic ones are like pr pretty similar to mine. Um, I think the only thing I added was yeah, something else. So yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, right there. If there was a line, I, I think uh, right there, it'd be right the there. The more I've point. thought about Shang Chi, the more like I like think it's I've, great. So I've always seen it one yeah. time. Yeah, I, I, I've, I've, I've seen thought, it a couple times. I, really I've been, like it. I was very, very bored with the Marvel movie yeah. thing. I yeah. really just mm -hmm. am not a big fan of it at this point. Mm -hmm. and when I saw it, I it was like a breath of fresh air. It's a mm -hmm. different setting, different yeah. characters that I haven't seen yeah. before, really. And it's mm -hmm. just a whole different lore thing that I can get into. I think it was just a different movie mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. a better movie. Okay, you know, why is Guardians two so 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 low? I, I think I think I know, but you don't really. So I think the first Guardians movie I really enjoyed. They balanced <laughs> the it's like a perfect amount of good, well written comedy, yeah, and good character development and action. I mm -hmm. I enjoy that. Second movie tries to do the same thing, but they fall flat mm -hmm. on their face with really really dumb jokes that I really <laughs> hate. Yeah, I, I'm not a fan of dumb bad jokes that's <laughs> why it's low and that's why thor ragnarok is so low as well i just i can't get past it and uh, that's what i see whenever i watch it like what drax is like did you make a penis i didn't i don't like that, <laughs> I don't like that in the movie yeah what do you like I think about the sense of nipples <laughs> yeah <laughs> There's See, now, the like... more that I think about it, I think that I would agree with you there. You know, and it's one of those things where, like, when you first hear the joke, like, part of comedy is, like, the shock value of it. Yeah. So when you first hear, like, D did you make a penis? You're like, ha ha. But then once you see it, like, two or three more times, you're like, that's. And you're like, why would Drax say that? <laughs> like, ha ha, a penis joke. You right. know, it's like. The thing <laughs> about Gu Guardians was, like, the whole, like, emotional weight with him and his dad and, like, right. Yon doing everything. I thought all that was super good. I was, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, that's the part where if they did more stuff with that mm -hmm. it would probably be up with the first one but yeah. Bad yeah, it's, fair. it's a enough. fair fair take i um, think captain yeah. marvel it's a little higher than some others but it's like eh. yeah yeah it was it's kind of in the middle you have yeah. a fundamental problem with like the, the you know the origin the main the stuff. Main, yeah the main character what i was looking at, i was like it's like i can't really change that so when i just take it at face value i'm like it's not terrible mm. it's just another yeah. origin story it's yeah not terribly done Mm -hmm. And it was kind of fun to watch. It's just the whole time I was like, "This is not right." Yeah. But it, eh, There's eh. a lot of like they they the the character development for her was pretty was pretty abysmal. I think. Yeah. I, I, it's, just, it's just when I think about it, I'm like, yeah. Yeah. Like it's, it's kind of bad. They like tried way too hard for it to be like like look guys she's a woman she's a woman guys see mm -hmm. look 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 you know yeah. There's a and, lot of those scenes where it's like it's very forced. Uh, and I feel like yeah. she was kind of bland, to be honest, too. Like she didn't do a whole lot as a character. Like I, I, there, there, there wasn't any a point where she won me over. I'm like, you know, like, oh, Especially you see, that's on. why she's low for me. That's why that movie's low for me, because mm -hmm. I feel like it's bland sure. as a solo movie. And the first introduction to her, I feel like yeah, it, it, was... been, it could have been done better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. For, for sure. Yeah. All right. Oh, gosh, man. Um, I feel like yours is kind of similar to James's and mine. When we talked about Ant Man, Quantum Mania, that one was kind of on the edge of like very, very nice and okay for me. Like, how was that for you? I mean, it was on the edge for me. I only saw it the one time, and I remember mm -hmm. liking it a lot. I think the more I think about it, the like less good I think it is. But at the same time, it's still like pretty solid. I don't know. Was there really anything here that we like haven't covered? I guess the big thing for me is that why uh, Shang Chi's pretty low, especially compared to oh, everyone else. Yeah, what do yeah. you hate Asian people or something? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I I really I was just kind of bored with it. I, I think it had really great How? action. I think it had a um, a decent story, mm -hmm. but when they, I did I wasn't a big fan of the dialogue. I, I I do I do remember I when I first saw it, and I think I know what he's talking about. His yeah, interactions. That with friend ah well yeah she was kind of like it's, the, a, it's a little I, it's it's I definitely it's not, not the bad, worst kind of but character. i just it's it's, it's, it's not like, the worst the mcu has had like mm -hmm. as far as like companions like annoying companions goes yeah but yeah it, it was definitely not necessary and i feel like this just doesn't really belong in um uh, my very nice dear okay mm -hmm. all right all right fair enough i guess my uh 
if I were ranking these in order, this would actually be first. Um, yeah. And here's really, why. Okay. yeah, this is because growing up, you know, I, I guess I you love watched... Asian people. <laughs> sure, yeah. <laughs> um, well, I do. I feel heavily like influenced by uh, my childhood when I watch movies and like what I like now. Sure. Um, yeah. Because for me, like when I go to the movies, I want to be entertained. That's like for me, mm-hmm. that's number one priority. Yeah. And for me. Like, the Asian-style fighting has always been, like, a mm. favorite of mine. I grew up watching, like, every yeah. single Jackie Chan movie, and the, mm. that was, like, a – like, I know that it's not – it doesn't look super realistic because it looks like they're always, well, sure. like, you know, flying and whatnot, like, with yeah. both on their backs. Yeah. It just – it looks awesome to me. It always yeah. has. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like the, it's done really well. On that yeah. same point about the fighting, I really like it because, like, the opening scene is, like, the – the mom and the dad they're fighting but yeah. like the way they're fighting you're like oh they're falling in love even mm-hmm. though they're not saying anything it's just the choreography was, you can just like tell it's it so was, it was kind of a dance um, yeah which, exactly, which, which was cool exactly. so that's that for me and of course i've got you know no way home there because you know there's yeah. that incredible nostalgia factor um yeah and i uh, think i think that there's more to it than that though because well, of course yeah yeah they could have just had them like cameo at the end been there for the final fight and then that's it that's cool but they did like even like develop their characters a little more especially andrews Mm -hmm. in a lot of ways kind of closed a lot of like open doors that the other movies had left and i think Um, that's why like that's so high up for me because they did mm-hmm. they added that nostalgia factor, but they did it so well because it wasn't yeah. if it was just a cameo, it wouldn't be epic for me. It probably would have mm-hmm. been like very nice or is okay. Mm-hmm. And and they they played a big role in Peter's like t- Tom Holland's Peter's journey, right. like emotionally. You know, like they they didn't just help him with fighting them; they helped them like deal with his grief that he had he was going through, and right. also you know, the feelings of vengeance that he was right. He's growing up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. And they were basically like his mentors kind of guiding him through what, what, what was going on, which I thought was really cool too. Right. And also the green goblin. Oh my God. Yeah. Right. That That was great to see him in the foe again. Yeah. It's, Um, it's like he just hadn't, like he took a 20 year break, but it felt like he had just filmed the first movie. I know. You know, like last year. Yeah. I feel like this yeah that was controversial yeah. as well as this um, <laughs> but, yeah well, yeah what the hell is um, that <laughs> so for this you know it's like our our first real look i feel yeah. like into king the conqueror yeah yeah, um, yeah. i know that we all, see him all of that stuff was really cool yeah to black widow though i know you guys want to hear my take on this because i've yeah. got it up so yeah, high yeah, yeah. i don't yeah, know if that's just, just good. Good. <laughs> <laughs> um okay so, just... first i would ask why do you guys have it so low because i didn't feel like it was written poorly you know the action was really fun to see it was cool to see um the past and the history of black widow and her family seeing her past was pretty cool but i feel like they should have but showed sh- more of it yeah there should there should there should have been more it, like i yeah, feel I like they, they really only showed showed the past to like introduce the new family characters and that was about yes, it exactly. okay, okay they they didn't really show any of her time in the red room they didn't show how she met clint they didn't show mm-hmm. really anything besides her as a little kid i felt like we we got more of her backstory in that like age of ultron um okay. flat at least, at least more that i wanted to see of like how she was trained in the red room and I stuff see. like i, I would have preferred to see her like going on her first mission on her own or something those are definitely all fair takes i would say for me i think i was satisfied with what i saw of her past because mm. i feel like if they would have given me more from her time in the red room and maybe some other uh family history as we would call it. and i'm including clint in that when i say that mm-hmm. um i don't think that i would have got to see all the action that I saw from Black Widow, who is one of the only Avengers that doesn't have like a special superpower or a special suit. Felt like a lot of the fight scenes, at least in the first half, felt a lot more like raw than your average Marvel movie. They felt like less choreographed and more just like, you know, they're skilled, but they're still trying to beat the crap out of each other. You know, mm-hmm. all these newer more Marvel movies, CGI fucking sucks. And this movie suffers a lot from it. Like, yeah, when you watch I mean, it on the big screen, 
it's not that bad. I was watching it on my computer monitor when I first saw it. Even after, like, they updated it on Disney Plus, it still mm-hmm. doesn't even look that great. I wonder if I watched it again if I would notice that more. And yeah, also Taskmaster. Do you, have, you, do you oh, have anything God. positive to say about that? Like, there's no way. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was fucking awful. <laughs> I was ignoring that. I feel like there's a whole lot else to talk about except for Eternals. So I know that. You and Luke had that pretty darn low, but me and James and Caleb had that from okay to good. (laughs) So why is it that bad? Oh my gosh, I was so bored. It's so so boring. boring. That's it, okay. That that, that is the main critique. Well, see, that's that's where I think you're fucking wrong. (laughs) I think that that is one of the standouts, is that, especially like the end, the fight scene between Icarus and the rest of them, like that that cool scene with um Macri. I thought the scene where she and Icarus were fighting was pretty cool. I feel like those elements in that in the in that fighting sequence were not in any of the other ones. I didn't feel like they gave us enough of that. I feel like when they did, mm-hmm. I feel like it could have been done better. Um Okay. I don't feel like there was you know, you could tell me that you might think I'm wrong, but the character development in this movie just felt it felt rushed and not um, mm-hmm. not thought out, at least. I feel like I wanted to get to know the characters more. These are Eternals. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like they're supposed to be incredibly well, powerful, and I didn't feel like they were when I watched this movie. I mean, I feel like the development definitely could have been better, but I, I feel like this movie would have been better if they'd made it a series because there's nine okay. characters they're trying to introduce yeah. and develop. I think they did a decent job of developing them for having nine characters in a two and a half hour movie. No, I can agree with you on that. If this was um, a series, I probably would have rated it higher because it would have been, you know, a better timeline of yeah. getting to see these characters. You know? For me, the big thing was I went in with like super low expectations. I, I kind of went in like mm-hmm. expecting to hate it. And then mm-hmm. I came out it being way better than I expected. I liked a couple of the twists they had in it. Cause at, at first it seemed like it was going to be like a Eternals versus deviance movie oh good good guys versus bad guys but then there's more to it like the eternals were actually and the deviants were both created by the celestials Mm -hmm. so that's like more of a story layer than i expected um they did kind of waste the deviants that's definitely a big Mm -hmm. thing they they had like crow in it he finally like got intelligence and just like i'm gonna run off until the finale yeah, you know? yeah. I, I just don't think it's as bad as everyone says as says it is. And usually the main the main critique I hear is that it's boring. And it's like, okay. I mean, I guess I expected I, I, I more. Is what I feel like is the bottom mm, line for me on that. Gotcha, movie. gotcha. Okay. I will say. Oh, go ahead, James. The problem with a movie with this many characters is that it's going to be long. Kind of has to be that long. Yeah. My main critique of it was it was long, but it's mm-hmm. like I'm trying. I was trying to think of like w- things that you could cut out. And it's mm-hmm. not very much. Yeah. Like the first well, like hour and a half is like practically all characters. Well, that's the thing too, is like the thing I like about it is it's not a typical MCU movie. Like they actually tried to have like actual dialogue scenes that weren't just constant jokes, you know, which I guess could be kind of boring considering the characters like are new and nobody really cares about them. But But by the I, end, you did. Yeah, well, at least I did. Yeah, at yeah. least a little bit. And I think it's one of the most visually stunning MCU movies because they actually filmed on actual locations. It mm. wasn't just all on a sound stage. So like the scenery shots are like super, super cool. When they did have those flashbacks, I liked the set design for the past civilizations. Like um, I think they had like Babylon and I, I did like that. I was like that. Yeah. And I'll tell so. you what, as a final thought, I will rewatch this and I will text Aww. you what I think. <laughs> You know what I think after because I have only seen it once. Fair enough. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's fair. You know? And during that time, like I was watching it, you know, at home on a smaller TV. Mm, yeah. In between, like pausing it because I had to do something. I think I would actually put this higher than I did. Ah, yes. Yeah. Um, I agree. I yeah. love. It's underrated for sure. Movie. It's yeah, like I love that it's basically a monster movie, which mm, I think is the yes. perfect way. To, yeah. If you're not gonna get super comic booky with Hulk. That's like the perfect way to do it is make it like a monster movie where he yeah, can't he felt powerful, control it. You know? yeah. yeah, I feel like we saw more raw strength. In mm. this well, yeah, movie. he's so badass like, in this, and we, we we have never seen him at that level in the rest I of the wish, MCU. I which wish is, they right. would do that with with the uh, Mark Ruffalo one. So yeah, bad. but we've never really seen that. You, don't, you never get it, and he it's keeps never... getting less and less like it's cool. So... His whole thing is he's a rage monster, 
and he gets like slowly more and more like hi guys you know which mm. i i didn't hate yeah. the whole professor hulk thing but it's getting a little old yeah you know well, it's like, like the it, only thing they're doing with it right it's exactly annoying it's annoying yeah, i want to see more of this more. and i think yeah. Ab abomination was pretty bad yeah that too. fight at the end is yes. just really brutal especially for yeah. like mcu yeah, yeah. it had yeah. me like on the edge of my seat the first yeah. time i saw it i yeah. feel like the most recent marvel movies have been disappointment for me Okay. I know right. that recently something was said about taking quantity or quality over quantity, which I'm going to I appreciate hate. a lot. Yes, yeah. Uh, I, 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 I hate how many things I feel like out, like right now. It's too much for the average it fan, is, like for me. Yeah. It's just like I can't I'm not gonna dedicate there's so many other things to watch out there. Oh, I yeah. can't watch ten shows a year and you know, ten yeah, movies. Yeah. Like I I gotta be a little selective. I mean I don't have a limited time. As no. a like big comic and Marvel fan who knows most of these characters, it's at least somewhat enjoyable to see a lot of these things. But really, mm -hmm. like in going back and really evaluating them as like, are, are they are they really that great? M most of them are like okay to like subpar, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. And it, it like it is starting to feel like it's getting worse. Like with She Hulk and Doctor Love Strange. Oh my God, Love and Thunder was duty. Worst movie. <sighs> In the whole fucking universe. <laughs> so I, I'm glad we can all agree on that. I know that it two Thor so movies bad. are at the very top. <laughs> like, yeah, that's sad. That's rough. That character is so great. I don't know why okay. they do it right. I, I, yeah. did, I did want to say about this with, with Thor. So about Thor the Dark World. Like, I feel like Love and Thunder made me appreciate Ragnarok and even uh, the Dark mm -hmm. World a little more. Because at least the Dark World tried with the freaking aesthetics. Like, they actually, like, made, like... Asgard look good. They made the armor look good. All that stuff. The story just kind of lame, and the villain mm -hmm. sucks. And there's too much focus on like Jane and Darcy and everything. But it like it feels like a Thor movie. The thing with Ragnarok and Love and Thunder, I feel like they just feel like almost SNL sketches that mm -hmm. last for two hours. Like entertaining to watch once, but then when you really think about it, like what the hell did they do to Thor? Like he went from being mm -hmm. you know the god of freaking thunder to being hey, a freaking four, like... being a freaking punchline. Yeah. I don't have anything good to say about that movie. Yeah, honestly, no, the best Thor MCU movie, movie is yeah. Infinity War. Yeah, dude. Yeah, he he. Yeah, he's so freaking yeah. cool in Infinity War. Like, yep. I feel like he takes a major step back after like Infinity War and even Endgame. I feel yeah. like even then, like there was still some of that um, SNL joke factor in that first one. You know, like I'm thinking of just a few of the the lines that were said but i i didn't mind it then but it was it, more like, it's more thorish not fret right uh -huh. See, that's the what i'm trying to say comedy yeah. came from he was like a shakespearean character in a little town in new mexico yeah, and that's like, where the like, comedy stemmed from it wasn't an and that was okay yeah interacting with our american like culture yeah but anyway, that is our tier list rankings and our long exposition on them. <laughs> yeah. So I hope you all had a moderately fun time. It was great having I did. you guys. Yes. Yeah. Rank our like rank it. our tier lists in the comments below. Make your tier list of our tier lists. I got the best. Thanks everybody for watching. Uh, be sure to check out our podcast, Casual Experts Only, and be sure to check out our social media. Uh, if you're watching this at home, you can use that. Q you can scan that QR code on the bottom right to get the links for our social media and our podcast. We'll see you next time.